All right, everybody. Welcome back. This is Tyler from the Cigar Experience Review, and um, uh, we are going to be doing the Tatuaje today, the Tatuaje Tattoo. So uh, this is a good Pete Johnson one, and it's a shorty, a little Robusto, and I'm excited to get into it, and so welcome back. All right, so we are getting into, like I said, the Tatuaje Robusto. It is a five inch by five by 50 ring gauge. So um, a Robusto typically is about five inches. Uh, the ring gauge can go from a 50 to a 54. Um, basically anything that's like a 64 is a solid inch. So anything below that, it goes down incrementally. And so uh, this cigar is amazing. Just real good chocolate brown, real leathery uh, look oily sheen um, solid pack and we're gonna feel around see if there's any soft spots in there great pack uh, it's this is what I would say is a toothy cigar so uh, as you look and I'm gonna show this on the uh, I'll put a photo in the uh, edit here uh, toothy has got like these little tiny micro bumps almost like little pimples if you will just real tiny little bumps in the vein in, in the in the leaf here and those are tiny little pockets of oil and so as you smoke them they bring out some more flavor so uh, toothy is a good thing and so I'm just a great I mean lots of chocolate note such a cocoa -y cigar and so I am looking forward to it we are going to use the straight cut today and remember, we are cutting, there's two caps here. There's one here, and then there's one here. We're just gonna take that top cap off. We're just gonna shave off the top. I'm gonna see if I can do this on the screen. We're just gonna go, just a sh We're gonna commit to it. And again, just a, just a shade off the top. We don't wanna cut off down here. If we did, were to do that, it's gonna unravel. Um, it's gonna be, you're gonna get like a bunch of, well, shredded tobacco in your mouth. So, not the funnest experience for sure. So, and of course we're just gonna to toast this foot here. Keep the flame away from your cigar. Just let that heat, put your cigar, like a 45 degree angle. There's no real rules on this, but uh, there's kind of a best practices, if you will. Uh, kind of a what to do, what not to do. And, so I'm just gonna make sure my foot is all toasted and warm and good. This is an area that a lot of people go fast at and they, t they don't take their time and they end up getting a really wonky burn, a really bad burn because they don't take the time to do this. Take your time, this is the, this is the slow part and uh, once you get a good start, your cigar will be perfect the entire time. I mean, well, not perfect, depending on the, uh, the, the construction of it, but we want to give it at least a good start, right? So we want to make it... And again, just perfectly circle. All red. It's got a tight draw. Not too tight though. It really is a, a, a good cigar. I don't love it when it's super open. You just... I feel like I'm getting too much. Um, I, have, I like a little bit of restriction, a little bit of... Uh, so right on light up, really, um, really flavorful right away. Uh, it's got that cocoa, it's got that earth, A little bit of pepper on the retrohale. Um, this is a uh, Ecuadorian Habano wrapper with uh, some Nicaraguan fillers and binders. And so, there is some of that spice, but not a ton. Really good, really oily. 
I'm getting a lot of, uh, gosh, that, that cocoa is, is really strong. Cocoa and then earth, and, and that's, that's kind of it. Like, I'm not getting a lot of cinnamon. I'm not getting any of that leather note. I'm not getting any hay. I'm not, like, we could go down the list of what I'm not getting, but what I really am getting is cocoa notes and, honestly, earth. Like, a, like as if you were to go into a, a if you go gardening, right, and you're, you're t doing the soil and you're getting your hands dirty, um, that smell is kind of what I'm getting a taste of right now. And it's really great. It's not like a dirty cigar. It's a freaking amazing cigar. Well, let's get into it. I'll see you at the uh, first third. All right, we are into that first third, about an inch in, and uh, still getting a ton of really great flavor. Still getting that cocoa, still getting that earth, tons of flavor. This The draw actually opened up a little bit, so I'm getting a little bit more smoke. I don't think you can see it on the screen as well as I can see it here, but man, it's um, one thing that has opened up. So on the retro hail, um, I'm getting a little more pepper. That spice is going up a little bit. Still not a ton of it. I wouldn't say a pepper bomb or anything like that, but I mean, it's there for sure. Uh, retro hail, um, you know, that's, that's kind of a, if you're wanting to step your cigar game up, get after the retro hail, right? So retro hail is you bring some of that smoke into your mouth, you let it wash your mouth a little bit and you, you exhale that smoke. But the last second, you close your lips and let some of it wash over your nose, out your nose. Not all of it, that'll burn your nose, it's the worst. But just let a little bit wash out your nose and uh, you'll get a ton more flavor out of it. You'll get a ton more of these notes. And so, let a little bit come out your nose and all of a sudden you're like, oh my gosh, I can taste, I can taste that pepper. I can taste that. Oh, there's that cocoa note, really, really strong. So um, that's a trick, and uh, it honestly is a game changer if you're into cigars and you're like, man, I'm, I'm, I'm just not getting all those notes, man. I, some people get like a citrus note. Some people are getting a, a lemon note. Some people are getting a, a grass and earth. I don't, I don't get those. Where does that come from? It really comes from that retro hail, letting the smoke go in your mouth, getting rid of it, and then letting a little bit wash out your nose, and. Um, you will get far more flavor. Uh, your tongue has five taste receptors, right? Your nose has 23. So you are getting far more when you incorporate your mouth and your nose, you're getting far more out of it. Now again, I'm gonna warn you, don't put all that smoke through your nose. It will burn, that's, that's too much. Just let a little bit on the back end. Um, Put in the comments down below if, you, if you're a big retro hill guy, if you're not a retro hill person, if you've never done it before, never tried it before, um, post a comment. I'd love to hear your, your thoughts and comments on it. Um, I know that a lot of people who are big cigar guys, they say, hey, you know what? I love cigars for a long time and then I started retro hailing and it became this like, it became more. And I'm like, I know, that's, that's where I'm at. That's where I want my people to be at as well. Really get the most out of your cigar is enjoy it with a retro hail. So we'll see you in the second third. All right, so we're down into that second third there. About the, look at that, ash is just solid, tight, good construction. Uh, if you can see the burn is a little bit off. It's got a little funkiness there to it. Um, I have a feeling once that ash falls, I'll need to make a small correction there, but all in all, still good construction. Uh, medium body, uh, so this one's getting a, a little bit more, this, the, the cocoa sweetness is, is uh, this cocoa sweetness is coming down. I'm still getting that hay, I'm still getting, no, not hay, sorry, my wife just pulled up, so I'm distracted now. Uh, I'm getting a little bit more pepper, I'm getting a little more spice in the retrohale 
less cocoa sweetness, uh, still earth. And so um, that's kind of the, that's kind of it for now. It's, it's I'm getting that sp the spice plus the earth, great construction, solid ash. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's doing well. I love this cigar. Um, let me back up. I don't, uh, I, I wouldn't say I love the cigar. I like this cigar. Um, I would definitely buy more. This is one that I'd probably buy a five pack or so and uh, have a couple in the humidor for just a, a short smoke that I wanted to have. Maybe you're, you got a couple buddies coming over and uh, you know, or doing some yard work and really want a good cigar, but you don't want a long cigar. Uh, good flavor, but you're not gonna sit down and, and study it too much. Um, that's kind of what this is best for. So we'll see you in the final third. All right, I am down to the final third here. I am, I'm almost done. I mean, it's, I've had to move the band just so it wasn't, you know, burning the band. But, uh, you know, finishing up, I'm getting still great flavor. Pepper spice on the retro earth. The cocoa's still there. A little bit muted, but it's still there. All in all, I'd say this is a good cigar. I, um, I definitely will smoke it again. Um, I, you know what, as I'm smoking and finishing up, you know, I know that last video we talked about just do the thing, just start, right? Start uh, the business that you've been dreaming of. Start, you know, write the book that you've been thinking about writing. Start the YouTube channel you've been thinking about starting for years. Um, you know, just start. Today, uh, I've been thinking a lot about, honestly, with all the things that we do, whether it's a business, whether it's going to work every day, whether, I don't care if you're in a career, if you're just doing a J-O-B, um, I feel like the thing that I've had to, to tell myself again and again is really, like, keep it fun. Like, keep, like, if you're not enjoying the thing and the do and the life that you're doing, quit. Like, I don't want to say quit just because it's not fun, but keep fun in your life. Keep enjoyment in your life. You know, maybe, maybe you're working at the job and you're like, man, I don't love my job. Get, find something outside that just really brings life. Maybe you start barbecuing. Maybe you start really getting into meats and. And, and barbecuing good brisket and really just getting after that and just learning how to do meat. You know, that might be a thing. Maybe you're just, man, I gotta, I gotta have some sort of outside extracurricular. Maybe you just go make, go garden, go hunting, go have something that gives you some fun outside of it, but enjoy even the hunting. Enjoy the podcast. Enjoy the book that you're writing. Enjoy Enjoy it. Don't just do it because it's a J-O-B and then there's that other thing you do that kind of gets you away from your J-O-B. But really, man, I just get after it. Do something that's fun. So in the comments, I'd love to hear what do you do and then what do you do if that's, that's the fun thing, that, that is the extracurricular that's after the, after the job is done, you come home and you go, you know what, I, I work on my car. I work on my motorcycle. I do whatever. I'd love to hear what you guys do. I obviously do cigars. That's my thing. Um, but, you know, I even have more things that I do. You know, I, I know this is weird, but I brew my own kombucha. And I'm kind of one of those hippie guys that likes to make his own stuff. And so I'm a kombucha guy. And so I brew my own. So there I said it you know it's weird but it's my thing so uh, hey I appreciate everybody who is chiming in and putting in comments and uh, as far as the Tatuaje tattoo like I said I think this is a good cigar um, it is it is up my alley in the way of flavor profile in the way of taste in the way of um, just good construction you can see it you know it, it's uh, 
still got a little bit of a weird edges on there but you know what I haven't had to retouch it so that's a plus in my book so um, hey I appreciate you guys check out my podcast uh, the honest cigar experience I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments on that um, as always I did get this cigar from Nickel City uh, my guys up in, in Buffalo uh, veterans good guys fast shipping so I ordered like Sunday night um, I ordered Sunday night and I got an email the next morning at 8 a.m. saying your your product has been shipped I mean they're they're on it they're fast so I'll put a link down below for Nickel City uh, Tommy and the crew out there appreciate you guys um, Pete Johnson keep making good stuff this is this is good so definitely be doing that some more I've got another uh, Tatuaje coming in a review here soon and so um, We'll be, look, be on the lookout for that. Questions, comments, or concerns, put it in the post down below. And uh, have a good night, y'all.